Hi everyone, my name is Catherine Bliss and in this video I'm going to talk about how to find limits using Maple. For this example, I've already set up a piecewise function here in Maple. And for more information on how to do that, you're welcome to view my video on piecewise functions in plotting in Maple. The piecewise function that I have already defined says that h of x is a piecewise function. When x is strictly less than pi, the function is defined as 1 over x minus 2. And when x is greater than or equal to pi, the function is defined as 3x squared over 2x minus 1. And we can see that Maple understands that function. Next, we can plot that function. I've entered the command to plot h of x as x goes from negative 10 to 5. I've also set the discontinuity option to true. This lets Maple know that indeed we do have a discontinuous function. And when we take a look at the plot, we see that there's kind of two natures or two flavors to this function. When x is less than pi, and that's about here at 3.14, we have this rational function with a vertical asymptote located at x equals 2. When x is greater than pi, greater than or equal to pi, we see that we also have a rational expression, but in the long-term behavior, it looks like it's going to keep increasing. Now, we're not quite sure about that. We could change the for which we're viewing the graph, but to really be sure what's happening, we'd want to calculate a limit. So let's go through and do the limit. To compute a limit in Maple, you want to be in math mode. Over here along the left-hand side of the screen, you want to go to the Calculus tab. In the Calculus palette, there is a limit. The first limit we want to compute is the limit as x goes to 2 as x is marching through the negative numbers. We know that this is a left-hand limit because we're coming in from the left-hand side. And the function that we're trying to find the limit of is our h of x function. Well, Maple tells us that the limit is negative infinity. And this is because as we march through those negative values and we approach x equals 2, the graph is dipping down and trending towards negative infinity. Let's do another limit. Let's compute the limit as x approaches pi. Now pi is located down on the common symbols tab. And we could do a right-hand limit. 